Hello everyone. So for today's look, I mixed both my hydrating and my matte foundations. Obviously the hydrating one is a little bit sheer and the matte well is like pretty much full coverage. So that worked out. So the shade that I'm using here on my crease is from a Morphe palette called 35N. It's pretty old. I don't know if it's still a thing. Here I'm adding this concealer from Sephora on my lid just so that the color can pop. This shade here is from a Sephora palette, which actually doesn't have a name, so... But it's a frosty white, so I mean, I imagine you can probably find that on most palettes. So I keep going back with my blending brush to make sure that it's blended. So this highlight under my brow is called Slime, and it's from the Daisy Marquez palette. So I figure since I'm doing a pretty simple basic look like browns and the whites, I'm going to add some color to pop. This white eyeliner is from NYX. I literally held my breath while doing this line. It actually took me quite some time to get this line looking decent. I do not have the biggest eyelids, so for this I'm trying really hard to make a very thin line. But anyway, this eyeliner is from NYX also. It's called Vinyl. And here I go again, attempting to do this line. If only we had one eye, you'd only have to do it one time, right? I'm kidding. Super happy to have two eyes. This concealer is from Sephora. It's called Bright Future. Just wanted to share something pretty funny that just happened. So we're watching a movie with Thor in it, and my four-year-old daughter says, Who's that guy? <laughs> my fiancé EJ says, that's Thor. And she says, oh, she's so cute. She has good taste. Anyway, so back to this. I use the same color that I use under my brow here, which is the color slime from the Daisy Marquez palette. I absolutely love how bright this color is. I like to add the same color into my waterline because I feel it makes it look a little more full. So I just talked about this on my Instagram. This uh, Fenty product has been making me break out. And turns out I am not alone on this. I won't be using this anymore. Which is unfortunate because it goes on really well. Up next I'm using a blush from NYX. It's called Sweet Cheeks in the color Summer Breeze. Next, my very favorite highlight is called Diamond Fire and it is by Too Faced. My favorite mascara here is called Kush and it's waterproof and it's by Milk Makeup. This is a NYX lip liner and it is called Canny's Cans, I don't know. Something like that. It's spelled C-A-N-N-E-S. And this is a lip gloss, a lip plumper from Sephora. It's called Outrageous. So here's the thing. This look can be worn like this, which I think is a good idea because once the eyelashes are applied, the black eyeliner kind of disappears. Look at me struggling. I have such a hard time applying eyelashes that are kind of thick. But I just love wearing them and I cannot do extensions because I have two babies and finding a sitter every two weeks sounds ridiculous. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I am able to inspire you to wear some bright colors with your makeup. Don't be boring guys.